welcome back to my channel. I am Driti, and if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Do not forget to click the bell icon so you'll come to know when I upload my new video. Hell, I've become so used to saying this long statement since one year. Uh, so honestly, I'm very very thankful to all the subscribers once again uh, for being there and for encouraging me. All my family members, friends who have been watching my videos and giving me tips and you know different different advices on what should i do how to improve and everything uh, so yeah i mean i was just searching on the internet like what other content should i make you know for this year what kind of content like i have made only too much content i never thought i would so i was just surfing to the internet like this one uh, particular video kept coming back to me what's in my handbag be it celebrities like Indian celebrities, foreign celebrities, even so many YouTubers, each one of them have their video on what's in my handbag. And honestly, when I saw, I saw quite a few of them of Indian as well as foreign celebrities and YouTubers and each one of them had their own way of expressing and each one had different things in their, uh, you know, travel bags and handbags. And I was like very curious, like, can I make this kind of video because I also am very like um, particular about the things that I take in my travel bag and I do travel a lot I used to travel a lot earlier also like I used to only travel 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 mostly so I always had mostly a mini suitcase with me uh, when I was traveling in train flight whatever so I thought yeah this is a good topic for me to start uh, you know a new series of uh, you know videos Anyway, so let's get on with it. As far as travel is concerned, like I said, I travel a lot to meet family, friends, for work purposes, everything. And I always need a lot of things when I'm traveling. I mostly travel by train. I hate flights uh, for two reasons. There's too much waiting time. And secondly, I'm super scared of takeoff and landing. I always puke. So flights are always a no, no, no. But sometimes there's no choice because trains don't travel, you know, internationally. <laughs> Anyway, so let's get to the point. So whenever I'm traveling, um, I have had many handbags. You know, I'm a handbag maniac. But since I bought my uh, Louis Vuitton Speedy, okay, I haven't had a chance or even thought of using any other handbag for travel uh, in any kind of, uh, you know, uh, transport. Recently, I did buy this uh, accessorized handbag, which is a dream, this like, uh, you know, a straw bag. And I just love it, but um, it, I still feel that it's a little smaller than what I need uh, when I'm traveling for a longer journey. But anyway, I did use it once or twice and it was nice. But yeah, like I said, Louis Vuitton Speedy is my go-to bag when I have to travel. And I, I just love the interior of this bag. Uh, though I would have preferred it to be a little pink. There was a pink version, but it wasn't in stock, so I bought this one. Anyway, so let's get on with what I have in my handbag. God bless you. All the best. You have to listen a lot. So I'm not going to follow any particular order. I'm just going to pick out things as in how I get my hands in because this bag is not having any compartments as such. So I just have pouches and things littered here and there. So I'm just going to pick things out um, one by one. So the first thing that I'm able to get my hands on is this multi-purpose pouch. So this pouch I have shown you in my uh, pack with me for some holiday video. Uh, this pouch is like multi-purpose. I use it for a lot of things but mostly I use it for carrying little bits and bobs like uh, first and foremost my morning medicines and some <laughs> band-aid because I tend to get a lot of blisters when I'm wearing shoes you know and walking a lot. Then I have a pair of scissors and obviously a rubber band and a hair clip and yes very essential is needle and thread I always travel with needle and thread and a nail cutter you know I can't travel without a nail cutter because I have a very bad habit of chipping my nails somewhere, somehow somewhere I meant to chip my I, I tend to chip my nails off and then uh, it doesn't break completely it just breaks a little bit and then that pointed thing kind of gets in the way of everything and kind of tears my clothes and pinches here and there so i always carry a nail cutter with me so all these things um, are there in this pouch which is a very like uh, essential pouch for me <laughs> next up is my earphones i always carry an extra pair of earphones 
with me because I tend to forget my earphones all the time so I always have one just I never check out until uh, I have lost the other one that I usually use which is white ones these are red ones then I have my uh, glasses my specs, uh, which are usually on my nose when I'm traveling but right now they are in there then I have um, obviously my uh, ID proofs so this is a, a, a pouch that I bought I think from some local store it says attitude is everything and this is a very convenient pouch for carrying your ID proofs and insurance uh, travel insurance and all that so I just love this one it's very compact it just fits in any small purse also so I usually carry this then of course my wallet uh, in which I have my money and my car uh, my no mostly my money I don't keep cards in this yeah, I don't have any card in this, only my money. But uh, yeah, I want to show you. I have bought another one, this one, which is more like a feminine, you know, purse kind of thing. And it has this lock mechanism like so. I just love it. It's a bit hard right now. And then there's place to put um, cards over here. And then you have to open this uh, to kind of pull it out. And then in between, there's another <coughs> set of, uh, you know, card holders and obviously the um, cash so yeah I'm planning to use this one now however this one is uh, something I'm more fond of because first of all it has Eiffel Tower on it it says forever young which I am <laughs> and the combination is black and pink which is my favorite combination so I find it difficult to kind of part with it but I'll see I mean you have to move on sometime all right next is um, obviously tissues I always keep wipes with me like wet wipes I can't travel without these wet wipes of course I also carry um, a sanitizer I don't know since COVID happened I'm paranoid I can't travel with a sanitizer though they do give like travel size pouches in the trains I always keep them with me in case I forget my sanitizer these pouches are always there with me and then uh, I have an extra uh, napkin I mean um, this is something if you remember I showed you uh, in my mini swap purchases so uh, this I thought this will not be very good but it's honestly very good it's a kitchen cloth actually uh, but it is also I think very going to be very handy for me when I travel so I'm going to use this one earlier obviously I was using another one then I always carry dry tissues as well um, I don't know I just find it very difficult to eat without you know spoiling my <laughs> mouth and lip so I usually carry dry tissues as well with me all right next up uh, it's you know it's like a treasure hunt I'm like hunting for things but next is obviously my card holder my favorite Kerib, uh card holder which I purchased again because the other one finally gave up so this one and then I have this uh, pocket perfume um, which I bought from some store uh, not that I like it much uh, what I'm going to do is I have bought um, these travel size you know bottles from uh, Miniso I think yeah and it has this uh, one that has a spray kind of bottle so I'm going to put my perfume in this so I can use this uh, for travel with my own perfume rather than using these cheap um, <coughs> pocket perfumes so next up is this small uh, travel size water bottle so it's plastic I don't usually like to use plastic and my glass water bottle as I've shown you it usually goes in my laptop bag and it's not always convenient to pull it out so I always carry a small uh, you know small water bottle with me when I want to just have a sip especially when I'm, when I'm walking I sometimes tend to get very dry you know throat and my lips uh, and you know like mouth goes dry when I'm walking so I just um, carry this bottle though I'm looking for a small glass one but let's see then of course I have my hairbrush which I just bought recently and then uh, obviously um, some girly makeup stuff so I have my lipstick which is uh, which one is this this is Miss Rose uh, Orchid this is a very nudey color so it's a very travel friendly color so I love it and a small um, uh, bottle of you know nail paint uh, this is again a simple nude color Wanderlust, that's what it's called from my glam. I think I've showed this to you in some other video. Then, uh, obviously, I have 
uh, a lifesaver that is my lip balm from Acne Lip Love. I never travel without this because my lips tend to go very dry. And then of course, um, uh, you know, I have this cute little mirror, okay, um, that I bought from Panama. First, I want to show you the the mirror itself. I mean, uh, the, the front portion. It is so pretty. I don't know if it's properly visible to you. Look at it. It has the cathedral and the cathedral, and then this is the you know a couple with this their uh, traditional outfit it's called Pujera, I think. And it says Panama over here. And it's so pretty, I just love it. It's a very simple like mirror and I think it's great. And nowadays we do have like mobile to, uh, to use uh, as a mirror. But uh, still I'm a bit conventional about it and I like to use this. And it's so pretty. I always keep it in this plastic cover because I don't want, obviously I don't want it to get spoiled. So that's how it is. Then I have this uh, <coughs> eye mask. I always carry this eye mask, especially when I'm traveling. In an early morning train like I have to get up at 4 o'clock sometimes and uh, I mean I'm so sleepy once I get into the train I just want to doze off and the light that comes from the window is so harsh so I just wear this thing and doze off for an hour or two uh, next is the scarf so I always carry a scarf with me I bought this from H&M I just love this animal print scarf I told you I'm very like fond of animal prints I have uh, an outfit or something or the other in animal print and uh, so a scarf also so I like to wear it in the train because it's very cold and I'm very sensitive to cold likewise I also have this pair of socks I never travel without socks in a train especially when I'm traveling in the monsoon or in the rainy season because obviously your feet tends to get wet and then if you have to sit in the AC in the train it's it's extremely cold okay I always have a stole with me and a scarf and a pair of socks because my feet if they get cold I get cold all over the body so keep my feet warm and these socks are really good in quality I think my mom had given it to me or I had bought it but this is like very thick like furry lining inside so it gives you it gives you a good warmth keeps you nice and you know <laughs> toasty in your legs uh, so yes I always carry this uh, in a train or flight journey then uh, some practical things obviously a power bank uh, nowadays I'm keeping a power bank in my laptop bag but uh, sometimes I keep it uh, in my purse as well of course my chargers and my phones of course both the phones which are outside right now but they are obviously on the top mostly not at the bottom and then of course a mask um, I have become paranoid like I told you I do carry a mask still even though it has been uh, you know eradicated like it, you don't have to wear it anymore but uh, I do and then I have an extra handkerchief you know I have to tell you something that every journey every journey that I do I tend to lose a handkerchief either by going or by coming back I just tend to lose a handkerchief so I always carry an extra one in my bag because I have to now some last few bits so I have these pens now you must be thinking why three pens now these all pens are very special to me they are very old and uh, each one has a history a story to it so I never part with this pen I keep changing their refills but I never parted with this pen so these two pens are gifted to me from my ex company that is Aptic this one was given to me uh, uh, along with uh, it's, it's personalized also you can see my name inscribed on it and this is from Aptic uh, this was given to me for as a prize for you know some dance performance I think along with a portable uh, power bank uh, which was also inspired with Aptic and uh, this is a very precious and you know I have fond memory and this one was given to me again by Aptic I think it was it came with a, a kit so I have this one uh, reason being Aptic is a company in which I have had the longest tenure of my career and I did the best projects with them including the Panama and Costa Rica project that I did and um, I really am grateful to that company for trusting me and giving me such nice projects um, and I will never forget that tenure obviously and always open to you know work with them again if, in future and then this one is my very first uh, IT certification so uh, I started my career as a homeopath uh, because in my day and age, I'm talking about 1998 when I completed my 12th, there was no IT college. 
So I went into homeopathy, but I always wanted to be in IT. And when I did shift into IT somewhere in 2004 or 5, uh, I was I was studying I think uh, some courses with NIIT and. Uh, in parallel, I was studying some database uh, at that time and I, I think it was SQL Server 2012 or 10, I don't know. And at that time, IBM had launched the database uh, IBM DB2 and uh, they had this academic initiative, they called it IBM Academic Initiative and I took part in that certification course and I cleared the certification and I got this uh, pen along with the other kit. I had a laptop back with no laptop but it was a good laptop bag and all you know then folders and everything that comes with the kit and then this pen so all these three pens are fond memories and i always carry with them even if they don't work i'm fine with it but i just want them with me just to remind me of my entire journey you know till date in it and then of course uh, my house keys i always carry my house keys with me uh, an extra pair of keys um, and then of course the last bit that is dark fantasy I always carry dark fantasy uh, chocolate pills with me uh, during the journey and of course uh, dairy milk and other chocolates because I'm I tend to get very hungry on the journey but I don't want to eat the, uh, the food that they give uh, so usually I do carry I have a small tiffin box also which is obviously not there right now uh, in which I carry a, a, an egg sandwich or some other Indian snack which I can prepare in the night and you know eat in the morning but if I don't then I usually carry these dark fantasy because they are you know, small packets like this so I carry like four or five of them and of course chocolates so in case I get very hungry I can just pop one in my mouth and be happy about it so guys these are all the routine travel essentials in my travel uh, handbag Time and again, new things you get popped in, like sometimes jewelry, sometimes some makeup stuff, or some small bits and bobs here and there, as in, you know, when required, depending on the type of journey. But these are the things that are always there in my handbag, no matter what kind of journey it is, whether it is flight, it is train, or car, anything. I have to have these many things in my handbag. So this is it. This is all that I carry, and that's why I always need like this kind of. Know, travel bag uh, with me to accommodate all these many things I also had a bigger bag uh, uh, I think it was from uh, uh, Michael Kors but I think something went wrong with the leather it started to peel off and then I had to give it away I had to donate it so that was also a very good handbag it was more like a um, tote bag uh, I think like tote bag but that was also very good and my Luffy bag which also I use once or twice in the long journey but now I think I'll give it to my mom. Uh, anyway, so this is all that is there in my travel handbag, guys. So, hope you liked the video. This was my first, uh, you know, attempt at making this kind of video. So, if you did like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And do not forget to click the bell icon to come to know about my new videos. So, that's all from me from my travel essentials. I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, please take care, have fun, happy traveling and enjoy. Bye-bye.